Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So alongside our Patch Tuesday security updates that have rolled out for Windows 10 and Windows 11, Microsoft is also rolling out a security update for Patch Tuesday for Windows 11 24H2, which obviously um, the same as Windows 10 and Windows 11, they rolled out um, on the 9th of July, which was late yesterday in my region. And the update is KB5040435, and the OS build will be bumped up after that update has been installed to build 26100.1150. Now, first of all, just a quick side note here um, and a bit of a recap. Windows 11 version 24H2 is only officially available at this stage to the general public on Copilot Plus PCs. And uh, um, also on PCs that are enrolled in the Windows Insider uh, program in the release preview channel, as an example, where Microsoft is finalizing our next annual feature update. So if you're like me and don't have a Copilot Plus PC or not enrolled in the Insider program, then obviously you will not get this update because this is only rolling out to the general public, 24H2, um, starting the end of September, moving into October and November later this year. So just take note of that. Now, the update addresses security issues for Windows, and these will be the same as version 22H2 of Windows 11 and 23H2. So just a quick recap. Um, it addresses 73 vulnerabilities. One of those is critical, which is your highest ranked vulnerability. And that vulnerability is Windows Imaging Component Remote Code Execution Vulnerability. And then it also addresses 70 important, so some important security fixes rolling out with this update as well. And then the security update will include improvements that were part of the optional bug fix C release update that rolled out at the end of June last month, KB5039304. And there are only six bug fixes that rolled out. So I'm just going to go through these quickly because it is a short list. So just to keep you guys posted, we get two... Windows Defender Application Control Fixes rolling out, also known as WDAC. Uh, apparently, the first is it was failing to verify the policies of some apps. That's been fixed. And the second is it was reporting a certain class of its policies as not active or authorized. That's also been addressed. And then the third fix is actually quite important because it addresses an issue that might cause DWM.exe to stop responding. Now, what DWM.exe is all about is it stands for Desktop Window Manager. And basically what it does is it composites windows in windows, allowing for effects like transparency um, in your different uh, components of windows and also live taskbar thumbnails. So that's basically what it does. And it is a vital part of windows that cannot be turned off. So that's quite an important fix. And... I'm sure if you were experiencing that, that could have been causing a couple of headaches. Then moving on, the update brings country and operator settings asset profiles app up to date for certain mobile operators. And it also addresses an issue that affects the unified write filter. Apparently, Windows management instrumentation API calls to shut down or restart a system throws an access denied exception. So that's quite a mouthful, but the UWF has been fixed in regards to that issue. And then the input method editor candidate list was failing to show or showed in the wrong position. This update addresses this issue according to Microsoft. So that previous update included six bug fixes which have now become available with KB5040435 for Windows 11 24H2. And just on another side note, um, it does include a known issue. Okay, so this update will include a known issue. Where Microsoft says, and I'm quoting, we're aware of an issue where players on ARM devices are unable to download and play Roblox via the Microsoft Store on Windows. And they have given a workaround. Players on ARM devices can play Roblox by downloading the title directly from www.roblox.com. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.